This week on StarCap, Dancehall Queens in ATL, Lady Renee making Jamaica laugh again, Black Bling as his years long romance, Blind Chopper, Fatal Card Game for Portland Farmer, and in the Dear Pastor review, Miserable Wife Made Me Stray. Hey Star Fam, I'm Chanel and welcome to Star Cap, a recap of the big stories that lit your attention this week. Following her debut performance in Atlanta, Georgia, dancehall artiste Marcy Chin is reveling in both her reception in the ATL and an endorsement from the reigning queen of the dancehall, Spice. Marcy headlined a recent all-white edition of Marco Polo held in the state alongside Spice and Skeng. After impressing the dancehall queen, Marcy said she was introduced to some industry players and Love & Hip Hop alums. Love to see the unity in dancehall. Although we are all still clutching our sides when we hear the name Ludlow Pinedo, show creator Lady Renee says we should be gearing up for season two of Jamaica Laugh. Catching up with the stars Natasha Williams, she said the show, formerly known as Jamaica Make We Laugh, will include even more famous faces, like some recording artists and maybe even some politicians. I've been on so many platforms and have had so much fun. Other talents deserve that too. And even though I see so many talents being entrepreneurial, like your IG page and your TikTok and a bag of things and so on, so on, I collect money from YouTube, check out so. It's great to have our very own unrestricted playground to just creatively express ourselves. Locally, we have a little bit of police, we have a little bit of restriction for the local media. I would know it, go look at broadcast commission and so on. But to have a platform where persons can fully show you who they are creatively, it's a whole different world and I'm excited to be a part of it and I'm excited to show it. When dancer Black Blingers and recording artist Diamond Kelly tied the knot on February 4, social media was set ablaze. Partly due to the dancer's resemblance to the Maroon Emperor L.A. Lewis, the duo's wedding pictures went completely viral online. Although it turns out he's not the Seven Star General, their story is still one for the ages. To catch up on all the details, hop on over to our website at www.jamaica-star.com. A visually impaired elderly man allegedly managed to con more than $500,000 from a pair of siblings after telling them he could help them acquire United States visas. The accused, 56-year-old Alton Clark, pleaded not guilty to the allegations. After asking the complainants if they didn't feel a bit foolish, senior parish judge Sancha Burrell cautioned against waiting for a payout from Clark. He was then remanded in custody until May 13. A simple game of cards has left a Portland family in turmoil after a loved one lost his life, allegedly over 150 Jamaican dollars. 34-year-old Julian Minot, a farmer of Maho district in the parish, was stabbed and killed on April 19. Minot's mother, Beverly Sullivan, says since then she has had nothing but sleepless nights. Two men have been taken into custody in relation to the incident. And in Dear Pastor this week, Miserable Wife Made Me Stray. This 27-year-old reader is in a world of stress. He said his 49-year-old wife is lazy, untidy, and not fulfilling her marital duties. He says because of his wife's shortcomings, he has since rekindled the wild flames of his early 20s. The man have big yellow road and has even gotten one of them pregnant. Although he wants to keep his marriage alive, he can't take the stress and is desperate for advice on how to break the news. Pastor has recommended family counseling, but what do you guys think? Tell us in the comments below. That's it for this week's Star Cap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on X, formerly Twitter, and TikTok at Jamaica Star. Until next time, I'm Chanel. Keep reading the Star, the people people.